Hi, and welcome to a new screencast showing a prototype for a Hudson plugin released as part of Milestone 3 for Glassfish 3.1. Just like many other software development teams out there, the Glassfish developers are happy users of the Hudson Continuous Integration Server. Actually, Kosuke, its creator, has long been part of the developers working on Glassfish. So to accommodate our testing requirements, and in particular the clustering part, the team has developed a Hudson plugin for Glassfish. Uh, for brain dead simple provisioning and development of a cluster install, as well as a set of end tasks to interact with such an environment. So, this screen task walks you through these new features. Uh, this is exploratory work at this uh, point and will probably be used in the development of Glassfish 2.1 Open Source Edition. Hudson is really in easy to install, so, even in cluster mode, and in our case, uh, we will be uh, layering on top of it a development version of Glassfish 3.1. So you see here the nodes that we have in our uh, Hudson cluster. And what we'll do is use those nodes to deploy a cluster, which will then be able to create start stop with a varying number of nodes and instances and with absolute minimal configuration whatsoever. So in particular, there's no need to set up SSH at this point. Uh, you see that the nodes are labeled here with a uh, GF cluster, which marks them as being eligible for the uh, work we'll be doing in deploying a Glassfish cluster. All we need is a running Hudson cluster, which you see now, um, and uh, a couple of plugins. So the first one uh, that is installed that we uh, require is the Hudson Glassfish plugin, which does most of the work here. But we also use the Hudson port allocator plugin, uh, which simplifies a great deal um, the deployment and the installation. So moving back, we'll create a job, uh, which we will call my Glassfish, uh, my cluster job. It's a freestyle software project. So no relationship to Maven, CVS, version, whatever. Um, and we will add, and this is the key part, a build step, which is a Glassfish cluster. Now we have a number of things that are filled out by default for us, such as the latest Glassfish promoted build URL to the zip file. Uh, we, pro we give it a, a name uh, to the cluster we're about to install, um, a prefix for all the instances. The base port is what we'll try to use by default. And uh, these, this will be spread on two nodes and for a total of three instances. So yes, I do want to create the cluster and yes, I do want to start it. So all of this will be taken care of by uh, the plugin. Uh, but at the end, I do want to keep the installation. And my test will actually be uh, the following. I will first list the instances that should be in the cluster and running, since I created and started the cluster, deploy an app, and then uh, shut down everything. And now we're back to something that's not specific to the plugin, but to Hudson itself, which is to uh, collect artifacts and logs in, in our particular case. So now that I've created my job, I can schedule the job and build it now. So as you can imagine, downloading the uh, file and uh, creating cluster can take a little while. So we see uh, the job has started doing so. It has allocated the different instances on different machines with each having ports and making sure they don't collide with uh, other software or other instances. So now we can actually go and look at another job that has completed a while back to, uh, for the sake of time here and look at the output uh, from the console. So it starts the same way and then instances are created as being part of the cluster. We have instance from one to four uh, when they do start, they rendezvous with the DAS, the domain admin server, which is a key part of, the, of any cluster in Glassfish. And then we have four instances that uh, actually uh, talk to the DAS. And now you can deploy, and this is done by deploying uh, with the target C1, which is the cluster itself, our sample uh, application. And finally, stop the domain and collect the logs. So if we go back to the job we uh, launched um, a moment ago, we can see that it has progressed a little bit here. And if we move forward just uh, a few moments, um, you can see that we're now about to deploy again, just to a cluster, not to all the individual instances. 
and now we have some sleep uh, involved so we can actually hit the um, the page uh, in the application on one of the instances here and on another one um, here with this port so the instance is running and the application is available So moving back to the cluster job itself, it's not done because it's still in that sleep mode. Now, now it is done. And uh, what we can see is we have all the logs collected in a uh, single place. So the logs for the DAS, for the three instances, and in each case, the JVM and the instance log. And if we go to a given uh, instance log, we see the messages about the instance joining the cluster uh, becoming a member of the cluster, we see things uh, such as uh, the web application being deployed. Uh, we should see this in a moment. Um, there we are, the Hello World uh, web context is here. And finally, stopping the cluster, we'll see uh, its members leave the cluster one after another before we actually shut down the instance. So now we can go back and look at my cluster job and have a different approach to it. So when we go back to the configuration, maybe we want more control and more fine grained control over it. So uh, we don't actually want the cluster to be started. Uh, instead, we want to use a set of end tasks, which give us uh, a more finer grain control over what we're doing. And we can do things such as check the status for the DAS, start the cluster explicitly, maybe explicitly stop one of the instances and finally do a cleanup, which basically shuts down everything and deletes the instances, the cluster, and shuts down the DAS. So that concludes um, the demonstration here for this prototype of a Hudson plugin for Glassfish V3. Please give us your feedback. We're interested in how this could be useful for you. Uh, it is quite bleeding edge, so the feedback is uh, quite welcome. Thanks for watching.